Okay, so good morning. I am supposed to talk about Web3, uh, but after yesterday, I decided to do something different. So I hope you'll bear with me. The last time I was on this stage was February 2020. We were celebrating our 10th anniversary, and weeks later, almost two years ago to the day, sitting in my garage where we had created Startup Grind, I started to believe that maybe this community was finally over. As people around the world were forced to shelter in their homes, I sat alone in my garage and thought, here I am, it's done. How can an in-person community possibly survive the new normal being locked away at home? How can we continue? This was the moment that I was reminded that a community, a real community, it's not about the place at all. It's all about the people. It's about the experiences people have together. It's about them helping each other in ways that maybe we hadn't imagined before. It's about coming together around shared values and beliefs. Soon after that, we started hosting hundreds of virtual events each month. We connected tens of thousands of people. We had team members waking up at all hours of the night to share a webinar account so we could save as much money as possible, not knowing what the future would hold. More than ever, it became clear, Startup Grind is actually all about the people, all of you. Since the beginning, Startup Grind was designed for everyone. We strive to be the most inclusive community in tech. Only 5% of people can get into Harvard or Stanford. I was not one of them. But 100% of people that share our values are welcome here with us. Our values are simple. Give before you take, help others before you help yourself, and make friends, not contacts. If you're a give first person, you are always welcome at Startup Grind. Last night, I met an entrepreneur that attended this event in 2019. She shared with me an Instagram post from that event, which I had not seen, where she wrote, as a full-time nurse with three kids, I couldn't stop my life for an MBA, but I needed the skill set to start turning my ideas into products. I started with a YouTube search, found Startup Grind, and I've never stopped listening. I didn't go to an Ivy League, but my education was better. I learned from the best, the executives of the biggest brands, who did what I wanted to do, who built what I wanted to build, and shared everything they learned. My education happened in the streets of LA, in carpool lanes, on my way to work, and on the 405. I learned how to bootstrap, how to build an MVP, how to take an investment, and how to create product market fit. I'm pretty sure she'd be a better startup, uh, CEO of Startup Grind than me as well. Incredibly inspired. She's here exhibiting in, in the lobby today with her startup. A few weeks ago, I got an email from a chapter in Georgia, the country, not the state. The first startup in Georgia to exit through an acquisition recently happened, and it was all made possible because the team came to Startup Grind a few years ago, got connected to people during that trip. This is leading, I am told, to many other companies in the region getting funded and taken seriously. I was in Egypt a few weeks ago at a Startup Grind event, and an impressive entrepreneur walked up to me that I had never met before and said, I was at Startup Grind a few years ago. We had a $500,000 investment at the time, and I was determined to make the most of my trip. I hustled, and I met people that introduced me to other people that led to our next round of funding. That was a few years ago, and today, recently, we raised $200 million, and we have 14,000 employees. He is here today. You will hear his story on the stage. Startup Grind started from a single chapter, not too far from here, with myself and some friends hosting an event every single month. People really liked the event, and so we kept doing it. One attendee asked me if he could start a chapter in Los Angeles, and so we started steady expansion across the world. Early on, people told me I would need to travel to every city to host events and build the community the right way, the way I was doing it. With several small children at the time, I needed to be home raising my kids with my wife, and being in person was not something that I could do. Thus, the Startup Grind chapter, was born, uh, chapter director was born. If I could build my community in Silicon Valley, surely we could find great people to do the same in their cities, probably much better than I ever could. 
I spoke on Skype with the first 150 chapters that we approved. I must have spoken to 500 people. And because I was so worried about not scaling, or it not scaling, I purposely didn't attend the first 250 in-person events internationally, just to make sure those doubters could never say that Startup Grind's magic was about me. It was incredible to see and meet people from around the world that shared my values and soon became my lifelong friends. One day I was speaking to someone in London, the next day to someone in Ramallah, Palestine, the next day in Guang Guangzhou, China, the next day in Tel Aviv, then Melbourne, then Tehran, then what seemed like almost everywhere else. The global, we were f the global community we were forming glued us together to supporting thousands of startups. In all, we have hosted 16,000 events in a staggering 153 countries and in 953 cities. Thank you. And now two years later, we are back. I am here, you are here. Of course, none of us are the same. Over the last few days, as people have been arriving for this event, I have visited with dozens of old and new friends that almost felt like I knew in a, in a, in a different lifetime. Not the metaverse, a different lifetime. Uh, the last two years have been so hard for so many, so many of you, or maybe every one of you. I know people, and you probably do too, that have endured getting laid off or laying off their team members. People that have raised funding and others that have run out of funding people that are thriving at work, and people that have survived. Those that lost their jobs, those that lost their startups. One close friend was digitally attacked by a stalker for more than a year. I knew nothing of it until two days ago. Another received the most intense online attack I've ever seen. Others have endured significant mental health trauma, financial ruin, difficult breakups, and another a terrible, terrible divorce. One longtime director emailed me a few days ago and said that he would miss the conference for the first time since it started in 2012. His wife is battling cancer and he needs to stay close to home. But that with the virtual event, he would be here with us. My favorite week of the year, he said, we'll have to wait till next year. One former Startup Grind speaker was told by the Taliban that she would be killed after a harrowing four-day journey that you would not believe the details of, and standing in sewage for hours after spending days at the airport, she managed to get through the cobble gates and left on one of the last American planes out of Afghanistan before, before just hours later, an attack in almost the exact spot she was standing killed more than 100 people. She is a refugee living in the United States. There's a lot of air conditioning in here. Uh, and you will hear from her today. For years, one longtime Startup Grind community member would bring his mother, who he cared for, to Startup Grind events so that he could attend. She sadly passed away due to COVID. A few weeks ago, a longtime team member had his wife unexpectedly pass away basically in his arms. Others have dealt with so many tough losses, and yet we are here. I am here, you are here. Yeah. Somehow we are right where we are supposed to be. It feels strange to be here in person with so many people from around the world, and yet it seems exactly like the right place to be. As we prepared for this week, we spent months 
thinking and planning about how we could best equip, equip you with the changing technology landscape. Some of us are embracing it full steam and others are still trying to figure it out. It's okay. Over the next few days, we will get a wide range of different perspectives and flavors of what the future of technology looks like, looks like and inspiration on how you can uniquely attack it. Hopefully, you will meet some amazing people that will help you get to the next place where you hope to go or where maybe you need to go. One thing I love about this community is no one is too cool, in spite of my Georgetown dunk lows that you see on the stage here. Just saying. You should make at least five great new friends in the next two days, or you are wasting your time. Do not waste your time, please. I have already made a dozen new friends. I haven't really tried. As you meet new people, instead of pitching your brains out, please ask them how you can help them. You will find they will actually end up helping you. I was speaking to someone yesterday, and I'll close on this, who I haven't seen in almost two years. Just a few days ago, his son tragically passed away. As I struggled with the words to tell him how sorry I was, he said, there was no way I was gonna miss being here with my family. I am here, and that is good enough. My friends, we are all here. Welcome to Startup Grind.